All right, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I got a few survival spoons, camping spoons, hiking spoons, lunch spoons at work, school, whatever. So let's take a look at this one. This is pretty neat. It's a spoon, knife, and fork and I got it off of Wish out of all crazy places so there's a fork, spoon, knife now most plastic knives can't cut and here we go we got a little jerky yeah see Oh, very sturdy even to pick up a sausage. Let's see if it cuts. Oh yeah, perfect. So there you have it. The knife works. The spoon probably works. Fork. Not so great. It's pretty hard to get in there and it bends. But the jerky's good. Alright, so you just put spoon, fork, and that goes. Through. Boom. So that's the first set. Another wish utensil set. This one's even crazier. Look at all these pieces. Move the jerky to the side. Like, seriously. That's a lot of fumbling. So, I think this one's more like... Lunch. I mean, if you're sitting down to have food and you got time on a hike, you don't gotta be nowhere. Even camping. That's fine. Knife. I just like it because it breaks down so far. And then you got some chopsticks. We'll test that out. And I am not a pro at chopsticks. Okay, here we go. Bring the sausage back over. Got the fork and knife. Still, I mean it's plastic. What are you gonna do, right? So, just use our finger. This knife's definitely not as sharp as the last one, but it gets the job done. We'll try it again with the fork. Oh, there we go. Didn't really bend. And let's test out my chopstick skills, huh? I'm probably even holding them wrong. That's why it never worked for me. But on the first try. Pretty dope, huh? So again, just take them off and put them in the case. You can everyday carry them. Throw these in your car. As you know, sometimes they forget to throw silverware in your stuff. So there you go. So again, I got that on Wish and this set on Wish. So sometimes it pays off to look on Wish once in a while for some crazy items. Okay, we got the UCO. Like, um, let's see, switch utensil set. It says four and one. Got a knife and then extend so you can have a longer handle for the fork and spoon. And as you can tell, I haven't even used it, so we're both gonna find this out. I cheated on those last two, I already looked at them.
pretty cool to have this strap because then you can strap it to your pack when you're hiking or whatever you're gonna do. I don't really like that. Is there any other way to pull it out without? Yeah. Once it locks in, but just because it's a plastic knife don't mean it's not dangerous. So, there you go. Knife, spoon, fork. Let's try the knife. Ooh, look at that. No bending. Pick the whole sausage up. And the knife cuts it like butter. So that's what I'm saying. I don't like how you pull, can pull it out because that cut through that. So it could even give you a paper cut, you know, if you pulled it out wrong. Right, let's see. This way. Boom. Now, if we had a tape measure, that's about a foot. So if you got big hands, just extend it out. Even if you, for the spoon especially, because you don't want to, you know, grip the plate and accidentally cut yourself. You know, like I said, even though it's plastic, it can still get you. So, if you want to use a spoon, click it in. If you just want to use the fork, get it with the fork. Alright, we're back. I pressed the stop button so this is part two it wasn't supposed to be part two so anyway the fork it's good in both hands um and like i said just put this together if you're gonna use the spoon because of how easy it cut that well that's pretty cool and then just make sure you don't cut yourself, putting it back together. Snaps in. Thread this bad boy in. And then, ta-da, hang it from your pack. Sweet. All right. It's the shorty version of this. No knife, so we can't test the cutting ability. Except for right there, a little short. It's um, it's a little knife. You can see the knife. I think they kind of made this one a knife. Spoon fork. Again, you could strap both these together. Put them on your pack, or get some other straps. But let's try. We'll hold it. The little spray the knife. All right. Bammers. So this little serrated knife. Pretty good. Let's go on the other side. I mean we are only, you know, drinky drinky steak, but still that cut pretty good. Fork did not bend. Easy. So maybe this is more like if you got younger kids, ten and above. They're using utensils for camping. Or they're going on a long hike with you. Perfect. So I'm impressed with these two company this um two spoons from UCO. Let's see. Let's just strap this one. Put it through here. here Eat. now you got two spoons bammers and lastly the most expensive spoon out of all also the whole set is like five dollars at walmart the single set at walmart like two dollars all together these two from which are probably $5 combined. 
So here comes the old Gerber. And it's metal. I'm supposing this is sharp enough to be the knife on the other side. So a spoon, fork, and this one cost $13. It did come with this nifty multi-tool. Bottle can opener. They say you can puncture a can of food and old school it, you know, around the can. Cut uh, with that serrated part. And pry bar. And they say these are two flat heads, which you should just have a multi-tool that's Leatherman's or something for that idea. But let's give it a shot. See if it's any better than the plastic components. So let's use this side first. Yeah, not very good. Even the wish one cut better than that. Let's try this part on the other side. If you put some force into it, you're going to get a cut. And we're just using jerky again, so it's not like we're cutting into a steak. So you better have a nice knife using this bad boy. And probably these ones, we got steak. I don't camp like that. <laughs> Hot dogs and easy stuff. Scrambled eggs. Fork works. So, there you have it. The $12 Gerber. This is essentially good because you'd have to really wrench on it to break it comes with a little multi-tool the five dollar one has a knife the only thing that sucks is when you pull it out you could get scratched up or cut but it's essentially good the little buddy for two bucks is great the forks not great on this set or this set but, hey, there's utensils, just in case you don't have a utensil when you get food, fast food, or on the go, where you might be eating an MRE or a freeze-dried food, you know, where you just add water. Or, you went camping like I did one time and forget all your utensils. And if you store these away in a backpack or glove compartment, you don't have to worry about eating things cold or using a stick. Alright, well, enjoy this fall that's turning into winter real quick. Stay safe. And enjoy the upcoming holidays.